NASA has just successfully landed its most ambitious ever mission to Mars. After a seven-month journey through space, the rover called Perseverance survived a perilous high-speed plunge through the Martian atmosphere and made it safely onto the surface of the Red Planet. When you hear of Mars, what often comes to mind is a planet inhabited by aliens, but in actuality, it is a realm of probing mysteries. Even our childhood cartoons always patronized Mars with the alien and UFO exhibitions. But as science has advanced, our perception of this colossal red sphere has shifted dramatically. Today, we'll embark on a voyage like no other to a world that's captivated humanity's imagination for generations. Mars, the fourth planet from the Sun, is a place of wonder, mystery, and incredible scientific discoveries. A planet filled with dust and iron. Could this be all there is to Mars? In recent years, visionaries like Elon Musk and the SpaceX program have set their sights on Mars as a potential second home for humanity. It stopped being just the stuff of sci-fi a long time ago. To grasp the essence of Mars, we must first delve into its natural history. Born from the cosmic chaos of our young solar system, Mars took shape in a dance of celestial forces, a fiery ball of potential. The ancient Noachian period, marked by colossal impact craters, gave way to the Hesperian period, where volcanoes reshaped its surface. Finally, the Amazonian period ushered in a new era, with flowing water and geological transformations. Over eons, Mars etched its story into its very terrain, preserving a history of cosmic proportions. The red planet's name isn't arbitrary. Its rusty red hue arises from the finely grained iron oxide dust that blankets its surface. But there's more beneath the surface, a world of complex elements. Like Earth, Mars harbors a differentiated structure. At its core, a blend of iron, nickel, and sulfur pulses with geological energy. Surrounding this core, a rocky mantle shapes the planet's features. Elements like iron, magnesium, and potassium define Mars' crust, while below, a seismic world hints at a liquid core. The mysteries of Mars extend deep beneath its surface. The Martian landscape is a masterpiece of minerals, metals, and rocks sculpted over eons by cosmic artistry. Foliatic basalt, silica-rich regions, and high-calcium pyroxenes are just a glimpse into its geological palette. The planet's crimson shroud conceals magnetic bands hinting at ancient plate tectonics. Impact glass tells stories of cosmic collisions, and dark streaks tease us with ancient mysteries. Are these streaks remnants of avalanches, trails of water, or perhaps something even more astonishing? Mars holds its secrets close. One of the most profound questions of all is, did life ever grace the surface of Mars? The Curiosity rover uncovered tantalizing hints, organic molecules, the very building blocks of life. But here's where it gets truly captivating. Mars has teased scientists with mysterious methane spikes. Imagine standing on the Martian surface, the alien landscape stretching before you. The atmosphere, composed mostly of carbon dioxide, is thin and frigid. But then, in a moment that defies this desolation, the air around you suddenly stirs with the faint whisper of methane. Methane spikes are like whispers in the Martian wind, mysterious and ephemeral. They don't happen every day, instead, they come and go unpredictably. They can linger for days, even months, before retreating into obscurity. But where does this methane come from? That's the question that has scientists intrigued. There are two main theories, and each is equally captivating. First, picture an underground world beneath Mars' rocky terrain. Here, in the hidden depths, microbial life may exist. These microscopic organisms, if they exist, could be quietly metabolizing beneath the surface, 
producing methane as a byproduct. If this theory holds true, it would be a groundbreaking discovery, a sign that life, even if microbial, might thrive beyond Earth. The second theory takes us to the geology of Mars. Imagine ancient processes, long dormant, suddenly awakening. Mars, it's believed, may still have volcanic activity or a process called serpentinization, where water interacts with minerals to create methane. If this theory is correct, it suggests that Mars, though seemingly lifeless, is far from inert, with its depths hiding geological wonders. How do we know about these elusive spikes? Scientists use remote instruments aboard orbiters and telescopes to scan the Martian atmosphere. These instruments work like cosmic detectives, analyzing the chemical makeup of Mars' air. When they detect these spikes, it's a signal that something remarkable is happening below, whether biological or geological. The implications of these methane spikes are profound. They hint at the possibility of life beyond Earth, tucked away in the unlikeliest of places. They fuel the dreams of human exploration, as we wonder what other secrets Mars might hold beneath its surface. So, when you hear about methane spikes on Mars, think of them as whispers from a world far away, beckoning us to explore, to uncover the truths hidden beneath the rusty exterior of the red planet. They are a testament to the enduring allure of Mars and the boundless curiosity of humankind, always reaching for the stars. Could all these lead to signs of hidden life beneath the surface? Scientists are on a relentless quest to unravel this Martian riddle. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please click on the subscribe button and hit the notification icon to turn on post notifications so you won't miss more videos. Now, let's turn our gaze to the Martian sky, a canvas painted with colors distinct from our blue Earth. Mars breathes a thin atmosphere, primarily composed of carbon dioxide. Martian sunsets cast a mesmerizing blue glow, a reflection of its unique composition. Yet, lurking within this thin veil are violent dust storms, engulfing the entire world for months on end. Mars lost its magnetosphere four billion years ago, possibly because of numerous asteroid strikes, so the solar wind interacts directly with the Martian ionosphere, lowering the atmospheric density by stripping away atoms from the outer layer. Both Mars Global Surveyor and Mars Express have detected ionized atmospheric particles trailing off into space behind Mars, and this atmospheric loss is being studied by the MAVEN orbiter. Compared to Earth, the atmosphere in Mars is quite rare. Atmospheric pressure on the surface ranges from a low of 30 Pascal. The highest atmospheric density on Mars is equal to that found 35 kilometers above Earth's surface. The atmosphere of Mars consists of about 96% carbon dioxide, 1.93% argon, and 1.89% nitrogen along with traces of oxygen and water. If Mars had an Earth-like orbit, its seasons would be similar to Earth's because its axial tilt is similar to Earth's. The comparatively large eccentricity of the Martian orbit has a significant effect. Mars is near perihelion when it is summer in the southern hemisphere and winter in the north, and near aphelion when it is winter in the southern hemisphere and summer in the north. Robotic explorers like Viking, Spirit, Opportunity, Phoenix, and Curiosity have been our guides through the Martian enigma. Experiments, discoveries, and endless debates about Martian life persist, fueled by these tireless explorers. Mars continues to be a realm where the search for life unfolds. In what NASA calls a great moment, the Curiosity rover finds a new clue that Mars may have harbored life. A year after reporting the rover had found no evidence of methane gas on Mars, all but dashing hopes that organisms might be living there now, scientists reverse themselves today. Curiosity has now recorded a burst of methane inside an ancient Martian crater. Scoops of Mars soil collected by Curiosity rover in October 2012 suggest that the planet was once significantly more habitable than it is today, but if living organisms ever existed, their remains unknown. 
The Viking probes of the mid-1970s carried experiments designed to detect microorganisms in Martian soil at their respective landing sites and had positive results, including a temporary increase of CO2 production on exposure to water and nutrients. This sign of life was later disputed by scientists, resulting in a continuing debate, with NASA scientist Gilbert Levin asserting that Vikings may have found life. A 2014 analysis of Martian meteorites found chlorate, perchlorate, and nitrate ions in sufficiently high concentration to suggest that they are widespread on Mars. UV and X-ray radiation would turn chlorate and perchlorate ions into other highly reactive oxychlorides, indicating that any organic molecules would have to be buried under the surface to survive. Scientists have proposed that carbonate globules found in meteorite ALH84001, which is thought to have originated from Mars, could be fossilized microbes extant on Mars when the meteorite was blasted from the Martian surface by a meteor strike some 15 million years ago. This proposal has been met with skepticism, and an exclusively inorganic origin for the shapes has been proposed. Alternatively, these compounds may instead be replenished by volcanic or other geological means, such as serpentinite. Impact glass, formed by the impact of meteors, which on Earth can preserve signs of life, has also been found on the surface of the impact craters on Mars. A cosmic journey unfolds, and so does the journey through Mars, revealing an ancient world rich in secrets and the promise of a human presence. We've only scratched the surface of what Mars has to offer, but many do believe that the Red Planet has more to offer. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more updates.